Hey everyone, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage and I'm going to share with you the haul from the amazing 127 World's Longest Yard Sale. Of course that is if the weather cooperates. Alexa swears to me that it is not supposed to rain today. There is no rain expected today, but I hear thunder in the distance, so we'll see how far we can get. My car is packed to the rafters with stuff. Look at it. So I just sat down earlier to start trying to figure out like my cost. <laughs> how much did this trip cost me? I mean, I know how much money I took to spend. I spent over my limit. I took out extra money and bought more stuff. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking all combined with hotels and food and everything. I just was curious how much I actually spent. But we're going to go through some of this. You may have seen some of this already because I'm going to kind of do a live haul slash sale for my normal sale this week. Um, and you won't see this video probably for a little while. Um, so again, you may have seen some of it already. You may have bought some of it. Who knows? <laughs> but you can always, if you see something that I share that you like, you can always reach out and ask me if it is still available. So let me start here and we'll see where we can get to before the thunder comes down. So here is this adorable little baby doll with the little crocheted dress on. Dress did get wet, although I think she's mostly dry. I got this doll for, drum roll please, free. I got her for free. I touched her. I looked at her and I said, oh, cute baby. And the guy said, if you like her, take her. I've had her for a while and you're really the only person that has expressed interest in her. And I'm like, because I love the babies. So he gave her to me for free and um, she was a little waterlogged, like I said before, but hey, free is the best price, right? So, and I'm not going to know the prices on all of this stuff, guys. That was just very unusual. So of course, that's why I remembered it. Um, I picked up this can. I thought this was great for um, patriotic holidays, so I was happy to grab that. Um, I will tell you, I'm pretty sure that I got that at one of the yard sales, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, um, they were asking close to retail on most things that they had there. That seemed to be a thing, and I noticed that last year when I went on the yard sale also, and I may have also mentioned it in those videos from last year, that a lot of the stuff along there are dealers that set up in their garages or whatever, and they are asking dealer prices, which is fine. I mean, if I lived on the 127, I might try to do the same thing. But what that means is that for me as a reseller, I'm not necessarily going to find the stuff that I need to resell. Um, but I think I did get some bargains, uh, some things that I can make a little bit of money on. Look at that. I have his mate somewhere in here. Can you hear the thunder in the background? <laughs> That's crazy. I was going to try to get out here earlier. I have so much stuff to do, you guys. It's not even funny. Like, my life is a never-ending craziness. But there's his little mate. Adorable. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Got those two guys. Then I got a set of two of these little guys. Isn't that cute? It's like a, a Toby-like guy. Salt and pepper shaker. I have his mate, too. I think this is it. Nope, this is the other one. Look at these! Ha! Little cows! What does he say? He's from Hartford, Connecticut. Souvenir of Hartford, Connecticut. And isn't that funny? I've purchased other things, uh, souvenirs from Hartford, Connecticut before. Um, maybe that's like the go-to spot for people here in Ohio. I don't know. <laughs> um, there's the other guy's mate. And I'm assuming the other cow is inside the tent because I think that's all that I purchased at that particular sale. I found this when I was with Katie. This is an amazing made in Japan Santa. It is going into my collection. He is fabulous. Never seen one like this before. I don't know what he would have done. He has some sort of mechanism here. Maybe he played music. I don't know, but yeah, he's pretty fabulous. I don't know who made this beauty. Um, cause I don't seem to think that Fenton does that with the bottoms. 
the ruffled edge reminds me of Fenton, but it's really kind of interesting. Do you see the lighter area of glass there around the rim? I think that's rather unusual. Uh, you can kind of see it on this side too, but it is on purpose. It's like a stripe around it. This will fluoresce, um, so that's kind of cool. I don't remember how much I paid for it precisely. I know I paid up. I think I probably paid $15 for it. Um, so I'm hoping I can recoup my money and maybe make a little profit on it. Um, but I just thought it was really beautiful. And I love the fact that it is uranium glass or custard glass. It will glow. Got a beautiful wall pocket here with this lovely bird on it. It's so pretty. I love that. It's in very nice condition. Just a little bit of paint loss there on the nose. Um, but yeah, very, very nice condition. Wall pocket like that. All right, you know me, I gotta buy the Misfits. I have no idea how much I paid for her, and I may have known about these little boo-boos on the side, but I don't know if I knew that her arm had re been repaired or not. Let's see if I can zoom in there. Until I just, you can see the, the mark right there, until I just spotted this crack right there. Um, I got her because, of course, she's beautiful. <laughs> I just love her. So, um, but yeah, the... the the dings are going to definitely affect her value, but she will be for resale, and uh, hopefully somebody will give her a good home because she's beautiful, and uh, she still has life in her. This next item I did know there was a ding on, um, but I have never seen one before, and I know how popular the subject matter is, so I had to get it. Look at her. She is a Japan mermaid. Isn't she fabulous? So look at how well she displays. But you can tell on the side there um, that she has been repaired. She's been repaired right in that area right there. But uh, yeah, a Japan mermaid. Look at, she's marked on the bottom, Japan. Very, very cool. I also knew that this baby um, was messed up. <laughs> His little arms came off. But he's a cutie with little wings. He's Jesco made in Hong Kong. I thought he was adorable, so I picked him up. All the stuff in this bag came from one yard sale that I wish they all emulated. Um, this was a little, you know, a normal family's yard sale. Older people running it. And I got some bargains, and I got some vintage Christmas. I was lamenting early on that I just wasn't finding it when I was in Kentucky with um, Katie and Pam and Patricia. Just wasn't finding the vintage Christmas, but I found these. These are fabulous. Um, look at this. Got a Merry Christmas, tacky Christmas sign. Got a couple of these on this trip. This is probably the nicest one. Is that it? Okay. That's separate. So here it is. Um, they always come missing a few of their little bows. Is that what we call that? <laughs> anyway, but very nice. So grab that. Here's another little piece. I'm not sure if it goes on there or not. Well, actually, I don't think it does because it's on a pipe cleaner. Unless they put that on there and it came off. I don't know, but we'll see. We shall see. Oops, your head came off. I know who you are. Well, we'll put that back together in a minute. I got a little package of uh, cupcake picks. They're newer ones, but I do adore cupcake picks. I use them in crafts. I use them as package toppers. Look at this beautiful vintage boot. It does have a boo-boo on it. Um, oh. That boo-boo is just dirt. Look at that. I thought it was a burn mark, but it's not. Awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this. Wait, let me get it out. Look at this. It's a mushroom. It's a 70s, 60s, 70s kitsch mushroom. It is ceramic. It's flocked ceramic. Um, I don't know how well it'll clean up. But I just adore it. I got so excited when I saw this guy, too. Look at how much fun that is. And when I was checking out, she's like, oh, I don't think he goes in there. 
And she's right. I, he has his own little stocking. His head keeps coming off and on, um, but that's okay. And as a matter of fact, they've poked him in there a few times in the wrong place. But we can just, you know, add a little bit of glue, and he is good as new. He's fabulous. And then now I have a little bonus stocking. Um, and you know what's funny is all of this stuff came from my second stop at this yard sale. On my way back from um, Kentucky, I went past it again, and I decided to see if there were more people set up in the field. And I knew I got some good stuff from this place before, so I ran back through another time, and they had put more stuff out. So, of course, I asked her if she had any more Christmas, and she says, Oh, yes, I do. I didn't think anybody would be interested, but I think it was her father's house. So it wasn't there. The The Christmas was not on site and she didn't have it because I was trying to, you know, <laughs> I was trying to get her to go bring the box out. Uh, but it wasn't happening, unfortunately. This next bag holds some great stuff to also vintage Christmas that I found. And look at the price on this bag. So we have Dancing Santa and Mrs. Santa and we have these really cool um, fabric candy canes in that bag. Oh my gosh, right, you guys? $3, but you know he's why I grabbed the bag. He will be staying with me um, for any of you who are interested. And I do collect Dancing Santas and Mrs. Clauses also. Um, however, I might be tempted to part with that because I have a lot of them. So if anybody out there really loves them, um, yeah. Now, this little manger scene is great, but you can tell by the little white marks it is missing a piece. And I think maybe the star needs to be reattached. But a white boot. I've never seen a white boot. And then we got our little flocked angel in there. All that guys for $3. That was a that was a great bargain. And then this one. Um, look at that little train. Love him. I'm not so much into the wooden um, toys. So they are all going to go. But I liked him. I liked that flocked guy there. Um, yeah. So for, I don't know, 2 or $3. I wasn't going to leave it in the box. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, yeah. Now, I think these need just need to be cleaned up real well. I'm going to take them in the house here and see what I can do with them. But I'm pretty sure that I got all of these gorgeous enamel pens for a dollar, maybe two. So we're going to take them in and see if we can clean them up and make something out of them. Yep, for that price, it was worth giving them a shot. Now, I'm going to unwrap some. I'm going to unwrap these so I can share them with you. This was a great a great deal at this place. I love them. Hold on. All right, so these guys were sitting on the table and I counted them up and I'm like, you know, I'm going to make her an offer. So I got I bought every one of them that they had and I got a good deal on them, I think. Um, so I do collect these. These are the little, some people call them frozen charlottes. They're not what I used to think of frozen charlottes, but these are the Penny Carnival bisque um, dolls. So there's her. There's this one. <laughs> oh, she's just adorable. Look at her. Oops. Look, oh, she's carrying a little baby or a little dog. Now, there are two of these Indians in here, and I think I already have one as well. So at least one of these Indians is going to be for sale eventually. But I do have to look at my collection and see um, which ones I have and which ones I don't have. So as you can tell, they were marked $3 a piece, but I did get a little bit of a bargain on them because I bought the lot. But I think these go for, uh, these can go for $6 and up. So I think I did pretty well. Look at him, he's cute. I don't think I have her, so she's gonna stay with me for sure. And then look at her. So I was really excited about that find. I just love when I can buy an entire collection. When I see something that I love and I can say to them, I want all of them, what can you do for me? That is the best, absolute best, because it's a, I think it's a win-win for both of us because they get rid of everything and I get a good deal. 
pays to pay attention. Look, my little guy sits on that white boot. Told you I've never seen a white boot before. Um, he is staying with me for my collection, but wow, how cool is that? I was with Katie when I found this next item, and she's the one that kind of told me I should get it. I do love Fenton Hobnail, and this is a rather large uh, bowl. It is not marked, but it does have the pointy um, hobnails on it, and Katie kind of agreed with me that we were pretty sure that it was Fenton, so grabbed it. If I can't sell it, that's fine. I don't have this piece. I do have some of the white hobnail, and I love it because it is so versatile and it is so beautiful. So I grabbed that. I don't remember for sure, but I feel like this booth was also a good booth as far as bargains went. Um, I love these old games. Um, I, I do use these in artwork um, with the numbers and the letters and whatever, but I'll probably keep this one intact. It does have a little tear on the side of the box, but the box overall is in good condition. So I'll probably try to sell it as is as a game. For, at least at first and then you know what if it never sells I might use it we'll see I could not leave this there look at the date on this February 22nd 1902 look at what it is it's a lock of someone's hair lock of Tom's hair February 2nd 1902 don't know if that has any resale value or anything, but I, I had to save it. It had to have a home. I also grab these next items whenever I can find them for a reasonable cost. Don't know, again, how much I paid. I probably paid a lot deal for all of that stuff. But I do use these in junk journaling and things um, and collage, so I did make sure I grabbed that. As I mentioned before, I collect the flocked Mr. and Mrs. and Dan Dancing Santas, so I grabbed her. Look at this. Um, this is staying with me. <laughs> Look at him. It's a little, he, I don't, was he on a cloud or something? I don't know, but he's just fabulous and I adore him. Like I said, he's going to stay with me for my major elf collection. Hey, if you haven't seen my major elf collection, I will put a card up above that you can look at my uh, Christmas uh, decor and see my elf collection. It's quite extensive. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> this is something else that I almost always grab. You guys, if you've watched me for a while, know that I go crazy over playing cards. Well, specifically, I love um, these old maid and children's cards. All right, got them turned around. So we got, let's see, zoom in. We got poncho, got a couple ponchos. Oh, there's the old maid. Well, she's well loved, isn't she? Hold on. Grandma Tweak. Oh my goodness, Tubbins. <laughs> I had a neighbor boy that they used to call Dubbins. He wasn't large at all, but she called him Dubbins. That's what that made me re reminded me of. Big Pow Wow. I just love the illustrations on these. They're so fabulous. I'm not going to go through all of them, but yeah, wow. Love those. Always pick up. I always pick up vintage um, old maid cards. All right, it's funny, you guys. I remember stories about things, and so I have a little story about this box here. It's not about this box in particular, which I picked up, and I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in my uh, Halloween sale or if I'm going to keep it myself. I really like it. I know I paid $5 for it, and I know that. Interesting how they painted the sides. I know that because I passed on another box when I was with Katie and Pam and all of that, all of them because um, the guy wanted five for it and I asked him um, to come down it was a newer tin and he just wouldn't budge off of the price so I left it there but when I saw this one I didn't hesitate because it's a very unusual and interesting box and I like the fact that they painted on the sides of it, um, it to me it was definitely well worth that and more um, but like I said, I don't know if I'm going to hang on to it or if I'm going to put it in my sale. I have yet to see. These are something else that I love to pick up. I love to pick up these um, shaving brushes. This is an unusual one that I haven't seen before. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Um, I'm sure it wasn't more than like $3. 
That seems to be about the price I'm willing to pay. But this is going to stay with me. I use these for art. I display them. I really, really enjoy them a lot. This next item I also picked up when I was with Katie. And I, again, this is something I don't normally pick up. But Katie and I were both very, um, pretty sure, very sure that this was Fenton. Um, so this is a beautiful white Fenton hobnail bell. It's not marked from Fenton. But I just thought it was really very interesting with the edging that it has there. I don't know if you can see it real well. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I got it. It's going to be for resale. Again, a piece that I would happily add to my own collection if it doesn't sell. I think it's beautiful, and it would go with any type of decor at any time of the year. This is the second baby that I got for free. Um, her eyes, it's funny because when I first found her, only one, it was like one eye, oh, there, wait, she almost did it. One eye open and one eye halfway shut. I thought she was kind of creepy, which I love. Um, she had wet clothes also, but she has somewhat dried out since then. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's like the key to the thing. Um, anyway, I don't see any markings on her, but you know what? Free is the price you just can't pass up on. So I grabbed her. We'll try to clean her up and see what we can do. She's great. Um, on my way home yesterday, I stopped at a booth and I grabbed these because look at the rocket ship. Isn't that fun? Futuramic Oldsmobile. Um, look at the food ornament there. Isn't that really cool? So this is an advertisement. And it was already prepackaged and everything. So I thought that would be great for the store. Um, I may, you know, I may bring them to a uh, live sale at some point in time. I, my neighbor's dog. So yeah, I really, really appreciate and, and like, enjoy, is the right word, these ads. But look at the ones with the rockets especially. And then the next one you'll get a real, you'll get a kick out of, I think. <laughs> the dog does. Dog gets a kick out of them. Look at him. Listen, he's, he's really happy about this. Um, look at this, the Philco Miss America. Just, I love the TV there. So fun. And then this one, I like the colors. I like the living room scene. Mallory anticipated the television party by several years. The television party. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I just dig it. So I picked those up. All right. I picked these up because the lady kept reducing her price until I just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I had to get them. I'm like, well, all right then. I have to buy them. Um, these are little cocktail uh, picks from the 1964-65 New York World's Fair. I'm imagining, just because I know cupcake picks and this sort of unusual thing, I'm imagining I can probably make a dollar a piece on these easy. Um, they will be split up, so I was happy to have those, and I'll keep a couple of them for myself, of course. The rest of these things were inspired by my friend Katie at Vintage and Vinyl, who I had the privilege of spending some time with early in the um, World's Longest Yard Sale shopping with. So I got to shop with Katie and, and, and learn how she shopped for jewelry. It was just so much fun. Um, uh, these I did purchase after we had parted ways, but definitely I got them with her in mind because she really, really loves her tins. Um, these are all, this one's a tobacco tin, but the rest of them I think are probably all typewriter tins. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. It's Vulcan Roy type ribbon, the black bottom. I think I got a really good deal on these too, so I was real happy about them. I love the, that deco look on that one, really pretty. Look at this one. I just love the graphics. So nice. Love the deco look on this one. Look at this. Oops. Very pretty. I am going to show these to Katie and see if there's any of them that she doesn't have that she would like. And then the rest of them will probably be for sale. This is nice for your um, patriotic holidays. 
And this is another one I like. I really like the flowers. Or those aren't flowers. Leaves. I like the design <laughs> on those. And those are from uh, a stationery in Dayton, Ohio. Very interesting. Since I'm showing you tins, I'll show you this one too. This one's a little beat up. It's got somebody's name on it. It's got a little dent there. Um, this came from the guy's booth where he gave me the two dolls. And I actually had looked at this before he gave me the dolls and thought that it was kind of cool. I like this sort of thing, and it is very old. So after he gave me the dolls, I'm like, well, I got to get it. Look, it says deal stinks. <laughs> anyway, so I picked that up from there. There were a couple of vintage Christmas um, places along the way. Um, that I had even stopped at last year, and last year I was unwilling to pay the money. I didn't have, I didn't have as much, as much to spend as I did this time. Did get them because I love them, but she had all, you know, her stuff out there was retail price. So I picked these up from a lady along the way at her yard sale. Um, most of her items were retail. I do collect these vintage uh, corsages. And I thought that this one was really cute. It does have a little mercury glass bead on, beads on it, um, the bell. And she only wanted $4.50, and she was a retail shop. So I thought that was a good deal. And look, there's a 10-cent tag on the bottom that they taped on there. So not sure I like the fact that that's taped on, but I did get that. And then I got this because look at this box. Look at this box of uh, velvet satin back ribbon with Santa on it from Kmart. Isn't that cool? And then we have this other little piece of tacky Christmas. It's a candle holder in there. And so I grabbed that and it was only two bucks. So you cannot beat that price. This next item I got for me, I'm sure if you followed for a while, the moment you see it, you will say, uh-huh, yep, I could have could have told you that. <laughs> Look, I adore it. I have seen this similar type of um, ceramic piece before in pattern. As a matter of fact, I bought a little one once, but they had married it with a different lid that didn't go with it. So this is pretty amazing that it has the correct lid. It does have a, a, a chip there, but that doesn't bother me at all. I kind of like the rough condition that it's in. Beautiful crazy on the bottom, and um, it's marked there. So I love that. Again, that is staying with me because St. Patrick's Day is my thing. I think that this was only a dollar, so I was not about to leave it there, um, whether I sell it as a game or whether I use the letters. Um, I do use letters like that in artwork, and um, they are fun to sell. People do like to buy them to make their own projects with, so I grabbed that. And I also grabbed this for art. This is a reproduction um, 1900 Sears and Roebuck, Roebuck catalog in the small form. I do think I've seen them in the bigger form. I may even have one. Um, but I got this for art. I love it. It's fabulous. It will stay with me. That does it for haul number one. This is going to be quite a series, you guys. I hope you've been watching from the beginning. Um, my car is still full. Uh, I have barely made a dent in my car. So we're going to keep uh, filming and organizing so that I can take this to the studio and hit the ground running. And you guys get to watch along the way. Thanks for joining me. Hey, don't forget to leave a comment about what I picked up today. And don't forget, um, if you can't think of anything to say, just say hi. Always appreciate that. And uh, give me a thumbs up too if you like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for stopping.